my lovelies, welcome back. Today it is February favourites. Such a quick month, although it's a leap year, so if any of you have been proposing to your other halves, do let me know. Um, yeah, I've got quite an eclectic mix for you this month, which is always good. A couple of them are Christmas gifts, and I didn't really do a, well I didn't basically do a video on what I got from Father Christmas. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but I don't like to repeat myself. So a couple of them are Christmas gifts, but we'll get on to that in a moment. So let's begin. I have skincare, no cleansers. Doo -doo. Um, the first one is from Oskia and it's the Renaissance 360 Anti-Aging and Brightening Supreme Cream. I've been using a lot of different skincare um, recently but this is one that's launching in March it's not out quite yet um, beautiful just one of the best moisturizers I've used my skin loved it I love the feel on my skin it's one of those that it's absorbed but you still get that sort of glow left over which I like sometimes I don't like my skin mattified and flat I like to have a bit of slick not a great word, but you know what I'm saying. That sort of subtle glow about it. Beautiful product. It actually lasted a long time. You didn't need a lot for it to go a long way. I worked it down my neck as well. Um, I think it has a natural SPF as well, but I would recommend using a higher one. I think it's about an eight. But I've loved this cream so much. Certainly one I would look at buying when I've got through the pile that I'm trialling and reviewing. But uh, yeah, I really love this. And I think the packaging's just gorgeous next an exfoliator and it's be good oh this is just so so good really lovely product and the smell oh it's just gorgeous it's herby and it's honey and it, it's just everything and you just want to put it on your face um i use it either on my face dry after i've completely cleansed my makeup off or I use it first thing in the morning on dry skin or I'll just slightly dampen my skin and apply it. Um, the beautiful thing about it is it is gentle. It's not one of these scratchy, scary exfoliators. And as you're working it, you just feel the whole aroma of the product sort of cuddling you in. And when you remove it, your skin is just so smooth, definitely brighter. I love Be Good. Um, it is a British company and they pump everything back into looking after our bees and protecting our bees and encouraging our bees. It's all good, which I always like as well. And of course, it's not tested on animals, which you'd kind of expect when it's bee friendly, I suppose. And if you are one of those that don't like parabens or synthetic colours or mineral oil or silicone, this is the product for you. Love it. Absolutely love it. Next, a hand product. And I think I've said that my mission this year was to look after my hands because I don't. Um, it's a bit like buses. You get nothing and then you get two products that really work with your hands. One was a cream and then there is this, which is the Bodine Birch Lime Blossom Protecting Hand Serum. It is gorgeous. It's antiseptic. The lime is so zesty and oh, oh, it's just beautiful really really lovely i love applying it you can use it on its own or you can apply it first as you would a serum on your face and then put a cream over the top beautiful um i tend to use it on an evening i have it by the bed and there's just something about having a nice pretty bottle by the bed that makes me do it and i've been really good i've been applying it every evening working it into my fingers and my cuticles and into my hands and then a cream over the top and I have noticed a difference. My hands look a lot, lot better. Um, they had been sort of burnt on the oven and from gardening and I'm also catching myself and I'm a scratcher and a picker which is very naughty so my arms are quite scarred from sort of scratching and picking but they really, this really helps soothe it along with the cream beautiful product and there's a lot there for what you use you only need sort of a pump maybe two to work into your hands but I have loved this and I love zesty fragrances as well so I love that sort of zing of lime really good idea if you don't like a sticky thick emollient hand cream this is great because you get the serum but it's absorbed really quickly and it's really nice in the cuticles as well it works beautifully in there so Birdie and Birch Lime Blossom Serum Hand Serum um, fragrance. Now you know I'm a little bit of a creature of habit. 
I like Chanel, I like Joe Malone, I like Thierry Mugler, and occasionally I can be swayed with one or two. And I was really fortunate to have the opportunity to try Aura Soma um, fragrances. They have eight. And the bottles are very, very colourful. And they range from your sort of floral, from sort of violets to very, very spicy, almost the patchouli side of things. And what they did was they sent me eight little bottles of their fragrance and three of them I have absolutely fallen in love with. Unsurprisingly two of them for me are quite warm, rich and spicy and one of them reminds me very much of the Clarins um, fragrance that they do. It's a little bit lighter and softer. This also, this is fragrance number 11, they're all not just numbers that's it, they don't have fancy names. Fragrance 11 but it smells like um, the skincare that they do as well. Um, the AOS skincare, so I love that. It just smells like a really good face cream. So slightly lighter than I would normally wear. Really nice for the summer, just a lightweight fragrance, but I've liked that one. My two absolute favorites that you'll be able to tell because that's halfway down the bottle nearly. Number 39, oh gosh, that is so warm and rich and there's vetiver in there and it's very very spicy and warm and when it's on my skin it just seems to heat up even more i can really smell it and it carries through my clothing gorgeous fragrance and finally it's fragrance 30. oh again really spicy and woody oh, it's just so warming really strong rich fragrance almost the sort of coco mademoiselle sweet but there's certainly a spice that's cutting through that really enjoyed experiencing something different from a range I probably wouldn't even have thought of looking at. Um, yeah, really nice. I do like the other fragrances. I think there's probably one or two that are far too floral for me. But actually putting them on surprised me how different they were when I wore them. But three definite, definite favourites in February. And now on to a couple of Christmas gifts that I'm absolutely loving. Um, I've said before, I know I have, and if you didn't know this, you're going to know now that I am a stationery lover. I love stationery shops as much as I love bookshops and cosmetic shops and all that. I adore stationery. I love pens and journals and I love writing letters. And my lovely mum and dad-in-law um, gave me some money for Christmas because I couldn't decide what I wanted. And I treated myself to a new fountain pen. Um, I love it. It's an orange red shade unsurprisingly. Really gorgeous and I could choose the nib as well. I'm very funny about nibs and I like quite a wide nib to write with. The beauty of this is you can use a cartridge um, with the pen or you can actually get a refill option. So you can actually fill it from a bottle of ink which I love doing. I love proper ink bottles on my desk and you fill it, pop it into the pen and it works like that. Um, just adore this and my pen friend in America actually wrote me a letter a couple of weeks ago so I'm really inspired to be writing back to her but perfect for me, stationery, books, makeup you can't go wrong but very very happy um i've got a very dark blue ink to writing i used to write in red which i know is quite rude if you're very proper you will know that writing in red is very rude i loved it because i love red the color but yes red's not a good color to write in apparently it's quite offensive to people which is a shame and finally this i don't know if it's going to fit on the camera actually but there we go. I'll, if I lean back, can you see? It's a lip cushion. How fab is that? Isn't it great? <laughs> this was a gift, uh, one of many funny gifts from Craig. He just saw it and thought it was perfect. And I have it sat in the office and I just thought I've really got to feature it because it makes me smile. Ding! whenever I go in it's just sat there and I, I love it so much and I really need to feature it in my videos somewhere maybe in the background I'll have it lurking but how great 
great is that he thought it was actually going to be quite a small cushion so when it arrived he was really pleased very very pleased with it but uh, i absolutely love that it's just mick jagger brilliant the cushion I told you it was an eclectic mix this month um i hope you enjoyed that two things i'd like to say um i had a lovely email yesterday from um a subscriber called ruth who very kindly took the time out of her busy weekend, I'm sure, to email me the most lovely, lovely email with really kind thoughts and comments. And she shared some skincare tips and products she'd found that maybe dupes for other products, which I'm going to look into and get back to you on. But yeah, it was just really nice to just break up my day. I was reading lots of drudgy emails. You know what it's like, you get lots of spam and things. And that popped up when I was sat at my desk and it was just such a delight to read. So thank you, Ruth. And then a lovely girl on Instagram, Sierra, sent me equally a lovely message, which was just so nice. So thank you both so much. I do appreciate it. I know there's a lot more of you out there who get in touch and leave me lovely comments and take a lot of time out of your busy time to watch my videos and I do appreciate it. But, yeah, Ruth and Sierra, I'm sure it's Sierra. I apologize if I've pronounced it wrong. But thank so thank you so much for that ladies and I will return with another video very, very soon. Take care everybody. Bye.